<laughs> I'm good. Oh, oh, I'm good. Oh, Thank you, much. All right, here we go. All right, is it big down? No. no. Did I hit him? Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm kind of like yeah, I hear him. All right, let me try the yeah, the bolt. Okay. Where I hit him? I see an opportunity. I heard something hit. I heard it. I heard it. That was cool. On today's episode of Survival Dispatch Academy, we're having a look at full size mini strikers and pistol crossbows. In the not too distant past, we shot a ton of content at Jason Sawyer's home over the course of a couple days. We also shot a bunch of content with US Arms Company. And when we had the lab radar set up on the rifle range, then brought it over to the archery range, I made some mistakes with the settings. And what we picked up for the crossbows was the velocity at 15 yards, which is the point of contact for this target here. So we asked, Carlos and Vanessa from William Tell Archery to reshoot some of the content so that we could pick up velocities as the bolts were leaving the crossbows. So we're going to start with that first. So you have essentially the equivalent of muzzle velocities, which everybody loves to discuss in their marketing. And then after that, we're going to show some of the content that we captured with the lab radar. I will say in both instances, this reverse draw mini striker is the bomb. It's tiny, it can fit in a backpack, and boy howdy does it pack a punch. At 400 plus feet per second, this thing has got more power than many full-size crossbows, including some of which that are in this video. Hey y'all, it's Vanessa from William Tell Archery Supplies, and it is a beautiful, albeit a little windy and chilly day here in Columbia, South Carolina. A lot of you have had questions about the FPS of our crossbows, and so today we're going to shoot a little bit to see the initial velocity of our most popular crossbows. And we are using the Caldwell Ballistic Precision Chronograph. Here is our reverse draw mini striker with a 150 pound draw. We are checking out now the FPS of the Mini Striker Forward Limb, 120 pound draw. 314. Here's our WT4 crossbow with 8 millimeter balls. 242. Here's our WT4 shooting a featherless arrow. That's Mm -hmm. 173. This is our William Tell Scout foldable crossbow with a 100 pound draw shooting a practice bolt. This is the Mantis pistol crossbow. Here's our Mantis pistol crossbow with 2.5 inch bolts. Ready? Up next is a portion of the content that we shot at Jason Sawyer's with the chronograph. As I mentioned earlier, this guy here is an absolute beast. Watch what happens with the very first shot that Jason Sawyer takes with this. And just to reiterate, the velocities shown by the lab radar are not at the muzzle. They're at 15 yards downrange as the bolts were hitting the target. Reverse draw, mini striker, 150 pound draw with a magazine, that's three bolts on top right there. Can hold up to six. Wow. <laughs> straight through the target. That's awesome. <laughs> you don't even see it. This is like that's a laser beam, right? Weird. That's pretty cool. So straight through the back of the target there very easily. I, I didn't even see the arrow. That's pretty cool. Nice. Very cool. Send you on the camera. Forward limb, 120 pound draw, mini striker with a magazine. Touch out. Here we go. Sending it. Bullseye, sir. 197 feet per second. Thank you very much. Uh, WT4, 200 round capacity, 8 millimeter ball bearings, 120 pound draw. 
and it will shoot, <laughs> thank you, a featherless arrow like this one right here. All right. Let's fire it. That's got some pep to it. 237 feet a second. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The Scout foldable crossbow, 100 pound draw. Megusto. All right. Safety. Kablamo. Cool. Did it get it? 210? Right on. And if 120 pounds is too much for you to pull back, you can also get this one in 80 pound draw. Well, this is the end of our official video on crossbows. However, after the final scene, we've included a ton of additional footage and outtakes. Mostly because it's pretty funny, but it's also educational in nature as well. There's links below for all the products that we've shown in this video. And we appreciate you following Survival Dispatch. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. So what's your name? Um, I am Cole McMillan. How old are you, Cole? I am 14 years old. And is this your first time shooting the Mini Striker? Yes, ma'am. And how did you enjoy it today? Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was probably going to be a little bit harder. For drawback, not for specifically for this one, uh, probably for one of y'all's other um, crossbows, and probably even the bow. Um, but it was it's really lightweight, easy to carry, self defense. Yes. Um, easy to cut back and I think that's probably it. It's a really good crossbow. Awesome. Uh, all right. This is the Steambow. It has a six bolt magazine right here, top loading right there. So you can shoot multiple arrows. Obviously not at the same time, which would be cool, but not what we're talking about here. And it cocks like this, got a little locking mechanism like that. Push that down, and you cock it very much like a breakdown pellet gun. Really easy to cock. And let's see what we can do here. Is there safety? No. Yeah. No safety. Safety third. Excellent. Here's my safety, sir. Yeah, let's shoot this pig. Nice. Reload. It's gone. Ooh. Accuracy? It's still dead, right? No. Oh, I can't see this one. The sights are not very good on this thing. It's basically like a shotgun sight. Yeah, I mean, that's. I'm aiming in the same spot and it's just kind of floating them all over the place. So accuracy is not great. Super lightweight, though. Easy to cock. Cool. And now we're going to look at the adder. Yeah, which is a 130 pound draw. This is not a pistol crossbow, but it does have a magazine. Um, and it's a little bit more cumbersome as you'll see. And um, I'm already not hot. digging this. <laughs> already not digging this. It's got a lot of things happening. It's it really does. Of, really does. And to steps. cock this. This will sink the bed. That's it. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so, the safety right there. Red's dead. Let's give her a shot. Okay, using a red dot. Below left. Did I completely miss the pig? Yeah, he shot like in front of its hoof. Yeah, I was aiming at, aiming at the shoulder like you. Aim, aim at the top of its haunches. Yep. <clears throat> It'll probably hit something. Yeah. Ooh. 
low. Mm -hmm. And I was aiming it at the Razorback. Hold on, let me show you cocking. You gotta grab your shoulder, sorry. See if you can get one on it there. Aim high and right. There it is. Yay. There was a hit. That one's got some more pep than the other one. Yeah. It is a 130 pound draw. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, last bolt. There you go. Yep. That Carlos helped develop with an engineer. Let's see how this bad boy shoots. It's a six bolt magazine, 120 pound draw. Piece of cake. See if I can find the green dot. There it is. And the safety. Nice. Good. Bullseye. Good this rear of the heart. Ooh. Hold on, let me. Okay. Next time, let me show you cock it. You keeping a consistent aim? Yep. The grouping's hey. good, man. Hey. Yeah. Be ready. Be ready. Hold Camera on. woman. Okay. Super cool. Or something like that underneath it. Yeah. Frog. <laughs> Dude, I'll tell you, like, for frogging and for real, if you had just like a, a simple little three prong point on it, I don't know how, what I mean, that would look like. Does it still like. work? You can do it. Yeah. You yeah. can do it with that. This yeah, for sure. Work. Yeah, this would work yeah. on frogs. It's got, Absolutely. It's got enough can, of a barb. Can I get y'all to say that one more time? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just take a video of that just to get to. Okay, ready, set. Walk around the swamps yeah. and. Lowlands, bottomlands, and around the ponds and stuff, and you stab frogs with a big with a big gig. Uh, but something like this would be really fun if you had a light on it, mm -hmm. a nice bright light mm -hmm. on the, attached to it, and something like that. You could stick frogs with it. Oh yeah, pretty well, easy. Have it have it on a line. Yeah, yeah, so that the frog, you know, big bullfrogs don't get away because they will hop away. Yeah, they'll yeah. they'll take off on you. Yeah, so yeah, if you had a line attached to it, you could just either yeah. go get them or reel them in. Yeah, I, I would do that. Rather than this, yeah. I mean, it would still be fun. Yeah, yeah. But if you actually That'd wanted the effective. food, yeah, I'm going That'd with that. That'd be more effective. Yeah. yeah. The I thought the ducks were your target. Hopefully, the ducks don't come <laughs> eat it. All right, yep. what we got going on Hold here? here. They're so bright. Okay. Okay, so let's load this sucker. And you guys said that the string goes down, right? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, make sure you don't catch yourself on that. How many rednecks does it take to shoot a duck with a fishing pole and a string? Just right. one. We're not trying or maybe to two. do that. Okay, and I'm going to try... Okay, so I'm using a kabuya like that, like, kabuya. We talked, like we talked about before. Oops. We're looking at doing this to a fish or a frog or whatever critter happens to be in the water. Firing in three, two, one. Just left. Just, Just left. You it. winged it. You winged it. Yep. But then you could reel it in. Yeah, and hey, guess what? We oh, I got a stick trap. Yeah, and if the small fish, small f or a frog, bullfrog, that would work. That would work. Yeah, if that was attached to the end, that would be. Uh -huh. Oh, you real. broke it. Oh no, real I just... nice. <laughs> You know what this I'm why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Need some help there? Let me hold something. You got a lot you're holding a lot of things. Spectacles. Yeah, we get one of these things mounted on here. It'd be a whole lot less things to have to manage. Yeah. Filming Christian? Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess turn the safety off. Okay, okay taking a shot. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
And you know what the best part about this whole thing is? What's that? My string came off! Oh, but you did good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God, no. Doesn't want to let go. Yeah. Okay. That'd work. You're up, dude. <laughs> shoot things. All right. Do we want to try this guy with the reel? Uh, I would do it like, well, I don't know, because that's got to hit on the string. I don't know what the best way to do that is. I mean, that's not wrong. It'll probably work. Let's try it. Okay. Let's just try it. Yeah, let me know when. The... We call it the blind mouse. Come on, man. You can do it. Get in there. I don't know if I put it in right. Yeah. Is your See line going to deploy? Yeah, it looks like it. So this thing... I think that's a good way to tie it. I mean, it'll work. I think that should be on the, your knot should be on the top, though. Yeah. 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 I'd pull up some of your slack out of your... No, no, you're okay. You're okay. You don't have a whole lot there. Just get it over that, over your handle. It's backwards. Yeah. But release it. Push the button. Yeah, make sure you push the button. You don't push the button. You're doomed. We're all going to starve to death, but there's no pressure. It's like the Zebco 33. Right. All right. Let's see what happens. Ready? Ready. Oh, wonder where I need to aim. Anybody know? Is that the one with the stadias? Yeah. On it, bottom one. Really? Okay. Ready? Set. Safety. Wow. Good job. And we money, 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 money. We land our fish. Good job. Yeah, that works good. That went straight through. The straight tennis ball. through that thing. I think that'd be a pretty effective fishing rig. Crossbow shooting. What was it? So it can shoot six, six millimeter steel six balls. Million. Okay. And it can, do you want me to give you these as you're talking? Or? I'll shoot once and then I'll say that. Okay. okay. Uh, so this is the mantis. Mantis. Uh, what is it? <laughs> and I would call it the multi mantis multifunctional pistol crossbow. Is that a too big of a mouthful? No, I can do that. Mantis multifunctional pistol. The crossbow. mantis multifunctional pistol crossbow, featuring six millimeter balls. All right. Um, this is the mantis multifunctional <laughs> ball sex or a bolt thing. Six millimeters. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> this is the Mantis multifunctional crossbow shooting six millimeter ball bearings. Did I do that right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Do we have a misfire? I don't know. I think you got to bring that closer to this. Okay. Because he said something about 12 inches, and I think you might be a little farther out than that. I don't know. I don't think so. That? Just, yeah, that might work. That's about 12. It's loaded. Okay. I heard it. It shot. I don't know what I hit, but it shot. Nah, it's just not loud enough, I don't think. It's just a little baby thing. It's like... Yeah, hard to get through for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby, scream for him. Gangsta. Gangsta. Got to have his gang. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, okay, so we want to talk about the fishing rig. Yes, yeah, so you can shoot bolts as well. Blade away. Don't want to cut anybody. All right. Um, this one, so can you say that? So this mantis, the mantis, uh, you can just say the mantis pistol crossbow can also be, have, have a fishing setup, or it has a okay. fishing setup as well. Yeah. Okay. The mantis pistol crossbow also has a fishing setup. Let's try it out. What? I think we might have had We got one. Oh, we, we hit the end <laughs> of the line. 
Yeah, he's he's, in line. He's, so really short. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eight feet, only eight that checks feet, out because you wouldn't shoot at a fish further than that anyway. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big one. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> 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 All right, cool. This is the normal six inch so, bolt. So what is it? Normal six inch bolt. Yeah. So Shoots a normal six inch yeah, bolt as well without the fishing feature. Oh, a little high, a little high. I didn't tell you each bolt was like 30 bucks. <laughs> we bring it down a notch. Perfect. Both fish and I nice. Good job. Got it dialed in that time. Cool. All right. Good job. All right. Um, so I'm trying to get something as close in comparison as far as draw weight to ours. So 100, 150 pound draw Barnett Wildcat crossbow. Okay. And we didn't sight in the scope, so it might be off. We'll find out. Just letting you know. All right. This is a 150 pound draw Barnett Wildcat crossbow. Oh, yeah, I did one of my younger years. I've been airless by six o'clock. 32 surgeries. No! Whoa. Last time I had a car. Oh, we didn't hit the microphone up to it. Dang it. <gasps> oh, man. You did it as well, but we, I just put three in there. Okay. So, um, let's try it out. Yeah. And I think it's caught like by going, you go like this, and you oh. caught it like that. So it's kind of, yeah. What? <laughs> it's a little bit different. It's a little cumbersome. Okay, we got the adder. Did you load it, babe? It so it's kind of like a, like a BB gun. Yeah. It has to. No, it has to be. Do you want me to load it? Press adder ready. So does this thing read rock? I think. Uh, yeah, that one doesn't have a safety. No safety. Charter, charter? Safety third. Uh, and this one's the Steambow something or other? Where'd she go? Steambow something? Yeah, that's this Steambow with magazine. 80 this, pounds. An 80 pound draw Steambow with a magazine. There's three bolts in here at the moment. Definitely slower. I mean, re regardless of what the this <laughs> says, you can see the arrow yeah, just watch blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Slow. Adder? Other 130 pounds with magazine. Okay. The adder. Okay. All right, so this one is the adder. It's got a 130 pound draw and a magazine in there. Great big cocking mechanism here that's making me nervous. I think I did it. I think. Is there a safety on this thing? Yep. All right. Side target. Sorry. I'm doing it. Sorry. Okay. What happened there? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you meant to. Oh, okay. I just went for it anyway. I was committed at that point. You know, once you see once you see blood, you know, like a <laughs> shark, I can't stop. Okay. Sorry, I had to uh, multiply that one out. <laughs> Sorry. Is it sticking the steel? PSA. PSE. Uh -huh. PSE SS, SS Viper. Yeah. Yeah. I started the video with that. The PSE SS Viper. Viper. <laughs> I hit the bullseye. <laughs> I felt good about it. <laughs>